Trepang 2. Is it, what a name. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Become the ultimate badass in Trepang 2, a gory, action-packed first-person shooter set in the near future. Unleash all hell on your enemies, dodge bullets, and leave a trail of destruction in this hardcore and frenetic shooter. Guys, this is John Wick meets Fear. What a combination. What a combination. Now, the graphics aren't great in this. Um, there's not many graphical options. Uh, you can rebind all your keys. Uh, it ran great for me. It's a bit dark, um, and like I say, some of the graphical bits do look a bit shit. But graphics do not make a game. They never have and they never will. It's all about the gameplay. It's about the action that you do as a player in first-person shooters. And this is a... It's a, it's, a, it's a fear kind of shooter. It's not like a Half-Life kind of shooter. Um, it's very much seat-of-your-pants stuff with John Wick mixed in. Uh, it's just brutal and ugh, guys probably I would say in the top five best shooters that I've played in terms of gunplay the gunplay in this is absolutely phenomenal it just really is because 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 you can slow down time you kill people and I believe the more people you kill the quicker your slowly down time charges up. That's what I've gathered. There is no instructions because it's 2023. You don't get manuals or anything like that with, with games anymore. The other ability that you have, invisibility, that just seems to charge up pretty much straight away after it runs out. There's like a little downtime of 10 seconds or so, if that. But the slow motion ability, that seems to be completely dependent on kills. It's a shame. I wish it was just whenever you wanted because, guys, there's no story to this really. There's there's bits of data pads you can pick up and there's a bit of a story going on there, but it's pretty shit. This game is not about any of them things. What you'll get in this game is just tons and tons of all different manners of enemies, monsters, creatures, all kinds of shit. Tons of weapons, shotguns, you can akimbo pretty much anything. There's uh, chain guns, shotguns, super shotguns. I love the, the dual wielding pistols as well. There's rifles, sniper rifles. Uh, submachine guns, all kinds of stuff. Grenades, phosphorus grenades, all kinds of stuff. Just, guys, loads of loads and loads of weaponry. And you have plenty of health and plenty of armor, even playing it on hard difficulty, which pretty much all of this footage, well, not all of it, but most of the footage is on hard. I played through the game, uh, and I got halfway through on medium and just found it far too easy. So I've switched it out to hard for the, for the second half of the game. Um, so, yeah, and I have gone back to some of the earlier levels that I really enjoyed to replay them on hard uh, just to unlock cheats because there's a massive cheat uh, menu in this game which is great because in the cheat menu you can do all those things you can have unlimited ammo I believe I haven't really had a good look through but I did see unlimited focus which is slow down time so I shall be unlocking all of these cheats and playing this game there's your replayability just over and over again now before people start crying, oh, Max indoors and cheats. No, I'm not. Because anybody who's a seasoned first-person shooter player will all know the same thing. When you play Half-Life and you've finished Half-Life and you unlock them cheats and you can have the gravity gun from level one, there's your replayability. How many hours did we spend doing that? Doom IDDQD? What was it? IDKFA? All that kind of stuff. No clip. It was just great fun and there's massive replayability in this because the gunplay is just brilliant. And just going in with unlimited ammo, with the weapons you want, with unlimited focus. Oh my goodness. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to unlock all of that. Um, it's, it's just a great game. It's got loads and loads of enemies. Boss fights. The boss fights are a bit shit, to be honest with you. It's just madness, this game. Absolute madness. And it's just so much fun to play. Just rushing through. You don't care. If you die, the game is very generous in where it puts you back. You might lose a few, a, a minute or two. But it just puts you back. There's no real consequences for dying. So you can just stick your lips out. Just go, ah, you bastards. F***ing have it. And just run around the, the levels being an absolute madman, psychopathic maniac. And guys... This is what gaming's like. This is what gaming's about. It's about time we had a game like this. This is what people don't get. A lot of the other developers that this is what a lot of people want to do. Just unleash mayhem on a level. We don't want to be sneaking through. Making a crisp on the floor. Step on it. 
I just want to rush. I, I want them to know where the f I am. Just firing your big fucking guns. That's what I want. Although there is the stealthy bit. It's nice to go invisible and sneak up behind them and break their necks or pick them up and throw them across the room because you are a super soldier. And you need to be a super soldier because some of the bosses are pretty nuts. There's one guy who teleports around with a fucking chain gun. He's just a bit obscene. There's a giant, mon lots of giant monsters, to be honest. There's sludges, slimes, and gas attacks. There's all kinds of stuff in this. Lots of uh, levels, time-wise, for the for the campaign and the, the side quests. Uh, depending on, it, it purely depends on the difficulty level that you play the game on. Um, on a medium, you'll, you'll be done in probably four to five hours, I would imagine. Uh, on hard, it's a different ball game. Uh, it, the difficulty does ramp up. So maybe six, seven hours on hard, doing the side quest as well. But it's one of them games when you finish it, you don't go, oh, well, that was, that was all right, yeah, that was... No, like I said, unlock the cheats, get unlimited focus, unlimited ammo, big guns, run in any level you want and kick ass. That's the kind of game it is. It's a bit steep, though, 25 notes. I thought that was a bit steep, that guy. So it is a big-ass £25 for a short game that hasn't got great graphics awful it's got awful voices guys and the base that you see you, it's another one of them games where you have a base which i love i love the whole notion of you have this base where you can change your load out and go and look at the mission map select which mission you want to be and it has all the immersive stuff like you have to unlock the door to get out and all that stuff. yeah that's immersive I had to get on the helicopter it's all good but the base is huge the base is just like shit the base should be like half the size of this and not look as shit so yeah there's yeah there's it's just yeah the, it doesn't really do anything the base for me is not very immersive it's not an immersive base unlike the aliens one that we played the other day that has a great base um this is a bit it's a bit it's all a bit dark this game it's all a bit too dark we should turn the lights up a bit when all the tracer fires go on and everything and the explosions from grenades it's just like a massive light show of death uh, which is just great, but flying through the air, dual akimbo pistols in slow motion, shooting someone's face off. It just, it doesn't get better than that, guys. Definitely worth a buy.